what is the difference between the fourth industrial revolution and other industrial revolutions? See, all through industrial revolutions were triggered by the incidence of technical progress. Technology played a major role. During the pre-industrial uh, revolution phase, uh, the demand for goods and services was increasing and there was no one to supply. During the first industrial revolution, the household sector started responding to the growing demand for goods and services. But the household sector did not have the equipment, the means to turn out products. So somehow in a very primitive way, they responded. And then small, small workshops uh, took place. And the second industrial revolution witnessed rapid revolutionary and complete changes triggered again by technological marvels, technological upgrading. And the fourth industrial revolution is underpinned by disruptive technologies. The new technologies which completely replace the old systems of production. And they actually create an environment where stakeholders and consumers are exposed to something called creative destruction. The old things are destroyed, but uh, new and innovative things are being generated. It's called creative destruction. And as I said, uh, the fourth industrial revolution is underpinned by disruptive technologies. So what are those technologies? Advanced robotics, artificial intelligence, additive manufacturing, augmented reality, then big data analytics, cloud computing, uh, 3D printer, electro-mobility. This is something new, uh, electro-mobility. And uh, then you have internet of uh, services, internet of things, internet of energy, everything. So in this era of technological marvels, what is happening is uh, a new type of entrepreneurship is emerging. Take the example of Uber. The company does not own a single car, but it is arranging rental cars for millions of people across countries and continents every day. Airbnb does not own a single apartment, a single lodge or hotel, but it is arranging accommodation for millions of people across countries and continents. So this is the type of um, the uh, pattern of uh, production and supply is emerging because of the technological marvels. So uh, what is now happening is some type of open innovation and value creation network in the virtual world. That means if you are imbued with enhanced adaptive capabilities and skills to use modern technology and to commercialize new knowledge, you can effectively participate in the global value chain.